Hello and welcome back to Algoma Family Services Community Kitchen at Home Edition. Today you're tuning into part two of our weekly meal prep series. We'll be throwing together our first prepared meal of barbecue chicken and rice casserole. But before we get started, let's take 20 seconds to wash our hands with warm soap and water. It's time to throw together our barbecue chicken and rice casserole. For this recipe, you're going to need the following ingredients. One tablespoon of salted butter or other cooking fat of choice. Two teaspoons of salt, divided. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And half a cup of barbecue sauce. From the fridge, you're going to grab the following prepared ingredients. 4 cups of raw broccoli rice, 4 and a half cups of cooked white rice or cauliflower rice, 4 cups of shredded chicken, 6 strips of bacon cooked and chopped or crumbled, and 2 tablespoons of thinly sliced green onions for garnish. What I really loved about the barbecue chicken and rice casserole was that it was so easy to put together. Having all of those ingredients already prepped made that much more difference and freeing up more time in my evening. Reheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Melt the butter in a large saute pan over medium heat. Then add the broccoli rice. Season this with one teaspoon of salt and cook for three to four minutes until the broccoli is softened. Remove from the heat. Add the cooked white rice, garlic powder, pepper, and the remaining teaspoon of salt to the pan with the broccoli. Toss to combine, then transfer to an eight inch square casserole dish. If you don't have this size of casserole dish, you can use whatever you have on hand. In a medium bowl, toss the shredded chicken with the barbecue sauce. Then spread the chicken on top of the broccoli rice mixture. After that, you're going to top it with some bacon. Bake for 30 minutes or until the top is just starting to brown. Remove from the oven and garnish with the green onions, then it's ready to go. If you're not too sure what to do with some of your dinner leftovers, a great idea is to make some small freezable portions for quick lunches or dinners. Thank you so much for joining us here today on Community Kitchen at Home Edition. Be sure to tune in to part three of our weekly meal prep series where we throw together our next meal of white chicken chili. We'll see you next time.